Honorable Chairman, Andhra Pradesh State Legislative Council, Honorable Speaker, Andhra Pradesh Leg Legislative Assembly, and Honorable Members of the State Legislature. It is indeed an honor and privilege for me to address the joint session of the present Legislative Assembly on this momentous occasion of the current budget session 2024-25. On being elected with an unprecedented mandate, my government has so far presented <coughs> four budgets and implemented a slew of welfare and development programs for the benefit of hitherto neglected sections. And it would not be an exaggeration if I say my government has put its heart and soul in fulfilling its promises. At the outset, <coughs> I place on record my deep sense of appreciation to the commitment of Honorable Chief Minister and the State Administration in installing the 206 feet statue of Dr. Baba Saheb Bhimrao Ramji Ambedkar. The magnificent statue built in a sprawling campus of 18.81 acres in Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Suraj Maidan in the heart of Vijayawada city at the cost of 404.35 crores will remain in the history as a place to visit and to cherish its elegance for generations to come in the state of Andhra Pradesh. It stands as a testimony to my government's commitment to social justice, equality, and empowerment. I am pleased to inform this August House that, under the astute leadership of Honorable Chief Minister Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Redigaru, this pro-poor government has touched every section of the society, especially the underprivileged, vulnerable, and those in need of support, be it the farmer, the unemployed youth, the auto driver, the weaver, senior citizens, women, children, or any other member who is socially and economically backward has benefited in one way or the other from my government. Now, building human capital. Soon after coming to power, my government has observed that Andhra Pradesh is falling behind some of the other states in certain social parameters like quality education, learning outcomes, nourishment to school children, IMR, MMR, and anemia amongst women, to name a few. To raise the parameters of human development index in Andhra Pradesh, my government immediately launched Navaratnalu, which focuses on social, economic and educational empowerment of targeted groups. The results of the efforts of my government are conspicuous in all outcomes. The Niti Aayog, in their recent discussion paper jointly published with the UNDP 
and Oxford Policy and Human Development in Initiative on Multidimensional Poverty has projected a steep decline in the poverty headcount ratio in Andhra Pradesh from 4.19% in 2022-23 from 11.77% in 2015-16. With India aspiring single-digit level of poverty from the current level of 11.25 by 2024-25, the phenomenal performance of Andhra Pradesh clearly demonstrated positive and tangible outcomes delivered by a galaxy of pro-poor schemes and policies of the state. My government prioritizes education like nowhere else in the country by initiating path-breaking and innovative schemes targeting improvement in learning outcomes and preparing every child studying in government schools for a bright future and to be globally competitive, believing that investment in education always gives the highest return, my government spent rupees 73,417 crores so far exclusively on these novel schemes introduced in the education sector. Soon after assuming power, my government has noticed that the gross enrollment ratio in primary education in 2017 was 84.48% compared to the national average of 99.21% and identified the urgency of a policy intervention to address this issue with an intent to make sure that poverty does not prevent parents from educating their children my government launched a unique and innovative scheme, Jagananna Ammavadi, in 2019, under which the government directly deposits an annual financial assistance of Rs. 15,000 in the bank accounts of the mothers belonging to BPL families, with children studying from Class 1 to Intermediate. So far, an amount of Rs. 26,067 crore has been spent benefiting 43.61 lakh mothers and 83 lakh children annually under this initiative. Due to these timely interventions, the state has witnessed remarkable increase in GER at all levels of education during the last four years from 84.48% to 100.08% at the present primary level from 79.69% to 100% at secondary level and to 79.69% from a meager 46.88% at a higher secondary level. To ensure better learning outcomes in school-going children, my government has taken up the Manabadi Nadu Nedu program with an aim to modernize and provide adequate infrastructure in 56,703 institutions, which includes government schools, welfare hostels, and junior colleges in three phases. The modernization and infrastructure development works have been completed in all 15,715 government schools in phase one, and works have been taken up in 22,344 schools in phase two, so far, seven rupees seven thousand one hundred sixty-three crore has been expended under Nadu Nedu modernization of the balanced schools will be taken up in the next phase. My government has set up school maintenance fund for maintenance of all the assets and equipments created under Nadu Nedu. Similarly, for maintaining the cleanliness of the toilets urinals, dress change rooms, wash basins, and other associated items, my government has set up toilet, toilet maintenance fund. Further, 46,661 ayas have been placed in 44,800 schools and junior colleges. Jagananna Gorumudda is being implemented in the state for children of class 1 to 10 in government school. This is a revamped midday meal program 
with additional nutritious food items in the menu providing hot cooked healthy tasty and qualitative nutritious food with 16 variety items every week including ragi java drink to address the issue of malnutrition amongst children so far the government has incurred an amount of rupees 4417 crores annually spending rupees 910 crore for 43.27 lakh students the annual spend is four times more than the expenditure of rupees 450 crore midday meal scheme incurred by the previous government shifting from the uncertain times wherein books uniform or other items were supplied without adhering to the timelines my government has ensured that a kit consisting of a bag three pairs of uniforms <coughs> including stitching charge a belt a pair of shoes and two pairs of socks textbooks notebooks workbooks and an english to telugu oxford dictionary under the jagananna vidya kanuka is provided before the reopening of the schools every year benefiting 47 lakh children per year and incurring an amount of rupees 3367 crores so far during the last four years digital learning has been the cornerstone of educational reforms in the state with an aim to making students from socially deprived background globally competitive my government has distributed 9,52,925 tabs with preloaded Baiju's content of classes 8 to 9 and 9 and to 8th eight, eight class students with an expenditure of rupees 1,306 crores. In order to achieve enhanced learning outcomes, my government is installing 62,000 interactive screens in classrooms for classes 6 to 12 and 45,000 smart TVs in primary schools with an expenditure of rupees 838 crore. The content shared by Baiju and the e-content prepared by SCERT Andhra Pradesh is being utilized for ensuring more effective learning among students. My government has introduced extensive curricular reforms in the school education. The long-term objective is to make the children studying in the government schools be prepared for the challenges and evolve into global citizens. Furthermore, my government has recently entered into a MOU with the International Baccalaureate to make them a part of SCERT. This move will bridge the educational divide between rich and poor students, commencing with capacity building and training of the teachers in 2024-25. Classes for first class in IB system will start from June 2025 onwards, June 2026 for class second, and will be increasing it one class each year so that students will get joint certification of IB and SCERT in 2035 and class 12 certificate in 2037. Keeping in view the benefits of the English language to develop individual's ability to understand and use English and to enable the student to be globally competitive, my government has introduced TOEFL in schools, that is teaching English as foreign language. To address the current learning requirements, my government is deploying future skills experts to oversee the available digital infrastructure to streamline digital infrastructure management and contribute to more efficient and effective educational processes. Future skills experts are mapped to 6,790 government high schools in the state. The government is committed to making intermediate education accessible by upgrading high schools in every mandal of the state as government junior colleges, one exclusively for girls and one for co-education to increase geographical access. 
294 government high schools have been upgraded into high schools plus for girls from the academic year 2022-23. My government is giving utmost importance to higher education. Andhra Pradesh is the only state in the country to take complete responsibility for providing higher education to 100% of its eligible students, free of cost, without any financial burdens on their families. The government has initiated path-breaking reforms to transform the youth of the state into an enlightened, enlightened and employable global citizens ready to tackle future global challenges. My government is revised. Government revised the curriculum by including four years honors degree along with job-oriented modules and 30% skill development courses to increase the employability of the students. With a view to ensure that higher education is accessible even to children of disadvantaged sections, my government is reimbursing total fees under Jagananna Vidya Divena. Under the scheme, amount is transferred directly on, on a quarterly basis into the student and mother's accounts whose children pursue ITI, Polytechnic, Degree, Engineering, Medicine, B Pharmacy and other courses. So far, rupees 11,901 crores have been reimbursed to 26.98 lakh beneficiaries. Through Jagananna Vasati Divena, our government is providing allowance up to rupees 20,000 for boarding and lodging charges in two installments every year into the joint accounts of the mothers and students. All children in a family are entitled to this assistance under the scheme. So far, the state government has dispersed an amount of rupees 4,276 crores. 25,17,245 beneficiaries under this scheme. My government is supporting the aspirations of the students who wish to study abroad under the Jagananna Videshi Vidya Divena. Poor students can now pursue quality overseas education